Each year, the International Council of Air Shows presents the Art Shoal Memorial Showmanship Award to an air show act or for performer which best exemplifies the qualities of showmanship demonstrated by the late Art Shoal. His exacting, exciting, and entertaining performances were a reflection of the very best in our industry. Every aspect of his performance, from his marketing support for the shows he participated in, his personal appearance, to the quality and professionalism of his flying, to even his personal integrity, it all emphasized his determination to contribute to the success of any air show that he took part in. He set the standard by which all other air show performers have since been measured. Because we had, did not have the opportunity last year to have him on stage, I'd like to welcome forward the 2020 recipient of the Art Scholl Showmanship Award, Matt Yonkin, to present this year's award winner. Well, it is my honor to, can you all hear me? Yeah. It's my honor to uh, present or to uh, announce the name of the person who is a friend to all of us and a mentor to many of us in this industry, the one and only Mr. Bill Stein. It is the reason this award is named after the legendary Art Scholl. It's the reason that the, the list of past recipients have become the definition of air show excellence, and it is that difficult to articulate energy that separates a successful aerobatic competition pilot to a world class air show performer. And whatever it is, Bill Stein has it in abundance. From his one of a kind aerial maneuvers to the unique paint job on his Edge 540, Bill Stein has spent a quarter of a century fine tuning and continuously improving his aerial showmanship. As a solo performer and often part of a formation team, Bill is more than just a talented aviator, but a great stick, an entertainer, a showman, and an outstanding performer. And he becomes to be just the 10th person to win both the Art Scholl Showmanship Award and the ICAST Sword of Excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in congratulating the 36th recipient of the Art Scholl Memorial Showmanship Award, Bill Stein. So I never got, I was never lucky enough to meet Art Scholl in person, but I was always inspired by his dedication and innovation uh, and his dedication to the craft. He provided a, a influence for a long time, decades since we've lost him. And he's helped out every one of us pilots by setting an example and a high bar for us to follow. This is an award that every one of us air show pilots wants to receive. Yes. Um, usually when I talk about my air show life, it's at a kid's school visit. And I tell them my career started when I was a nine-year-old kid going to an air show in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where I grew up. And I was awestruck by the pilots and the flying that I saw, and I knew someday I had to do that myself. I think Danny was announcing that day. <laughs> For the very first time. I really do. I'll show them a demo video from my solo act, and I'll tell them if they really apply themselves to become as great as they can at what they love to do, they might be able to make a living at it, just like us. I tell them about how much time and effort, all the years we put in to our aerobatic practice and learning about air shows, but it, if you're doing what you love to do, it's not really work, right? And then I'll tell them a little bit of guidance goes a long way. If I hadn't been introduced to some great mentors, I might have eventually ended up in the air show business, but I would have never gotten a fast start like I did. And then I'll show them a video from a formation team, most likely the force, and I'll tell them that in, in my life, nothing has been as compelling as being a part of a team that's doing something exquisite. I love the time that I spent with the Red Barons and with the collaborators and with the force. These teams all stepped up and we challenged ourselves to do things that were fun and hard and technical, but hopefully they were interesting and entertaining. None of that would have happened 
without a lot of great support from my family and my friends who encouraged me to get started and to follow this path. I found a few great mentors and I've made an amazing amount of cool and wonderful friends. That's you guys. It's surreal and humbling to be on the list with the past, past show winners. I mean, there's incredible legends that should, and some of them do have awards named after them. Bob Hoover, Leo, French Connection, Jimmy Franklin. And then there's legends who become mentors and friends like Wayne Hanley and Danny and Gino and more, and all these friends standing on the stage tonight. I really appreciate and I'm kind of overwhelmed with the Shoal Award. I've dreamed of it for a long time, ever since I started flying shows. And this is a highlight of my career. So there's a lot of people I'd love to thank tonight, and I hate that I can't do it right here and right now. So thank you, all of you, and all of you.